What's up everyone and welcome to another special X and Y video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to become stylish in Lumio City. You can see we're going out for a nice stroll around the town at night time. We're going out clubbing. We're going to go dance with some ladies. Well, not really. Our character is looking pretty stylish. Unfortunately, looking stylish isn't the only thing that you need to actually be stylish here in Lumios. As many of you may have tried wandering here into the boutique couture. And of course, they'll tell you that you're just not stylish enough to buy here, which is very unfortunate. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to actually become stylish enough to go in there and buy any of the clothes that you want and well actually it'll also help you out with other things in Lumio City which we'll talk about later but first let's go over how to become stylish there are a bunch of activities that you can do in and around Lumio City that will boost this sort of invisible stat that your character has, which I guess is known as stylishness. And as that stat goes up, you'll get benefits from it in Lumio City, such as actually being able to enter the boutique couture and buy from them, as well as unlocking a couple of cool little nifty things like more haircuts for your fur fro, more hairstyles at the salon, and even lower prices in some of the shops and other areas in Lumios. So we're going to go over how to get style points in Lumios. There's there's a ton of things that you can do. I'm just gonna show off a couple of them and let you know how many style points they give you. There's not really a set amount, but one thing that you can do is actually ride on Go Goat, which I just found out. I didn't know how to do it before, but you just have to go up to these one of these signposts, and Go Goat will basically drive you or ride you around from one post stop to the next. And overall, it doesn't give you many style points, but hey, I didn't know how to ride Go Goat before, and honestly, it wasn't as cool as I thought. You don't even get to control Go Goat. It's just like a thing that just kind of strolls you around the city. So that's one thing you can do. You can also ride in one of the many cabs located around Lumios. That will actually give you a couple of points, but nothing too significant, and it costs money. So honestly, not a good option. Now, personally, my favorite way to get stylish points is here in Esteval Avenue. I honestly still don't know how to get around Lumio City. There's a really good map circulating the internet, and if you bought the guide, there's also a really good map on there. But here on Esteval Avenue, you'll find this place called the Lumios Press. And every time you go in here and talk to a certain someone that you may recognize, you'll get a bunch of stylish points. So this is, I think Alexa is her name. You're that kid, the one who came to see me. Hey, so tell me, has that experience here been useful? You haven't forgotten about me, have you? I'm the journalist Alexa. So yes, this is Viola, the bug type gym leader sister who gave us the EXP share all the way back in Santa Luna. And each time you talk to her, she will actually volunteer to show you around the city. So just go ahead and choose any one of these. It doesn't really matter as far as I know. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose uh, the North Boulevard here. And she'll explain what's in that route. If you just want to go over there, just press yes and she'll take you there. And that just there just boosted our stylish points pretty much through the roof. Well, not through the roof, but it's one of the things that actually gives you the most stylish points for some reason. Really don't know why specifically that gives you so many, but after doing that, just go ahead and try to find the Lumios Prince once again and keep rinsing and repeating and that will net you stylish points really fast. But here on North Avenue, I actually chose this specifically because there's another activity that we can do here which also nets you a really high amount of stylish points, which is here in the Hotel Rishisime. Welcome to the hotel. I can tell you have a knack for getting things done. I know it's sudden, but do you want to work here? Yes, we do. What work would you like to do? So here at the Hotel Rishisime, they will actually offer you jobs and there's three different jobs that you can do. Number one is room service. Well, I guess I'll just go through all of them just to show you guys what's up. So room service, you actually kind of have to pay attention to the dialogue. The first time I did it, I didn't read it and I messed up pretty hard. But yeah, what I'd like you to do today is correctly remember our guest orders. So Someone is going to ring you up with room service and he's going to tell you what he wants. So, I'd like a docile pitch a berry carpaccio hypnosis style. So just go ahead and remember that. He's going to tell you it one more time. Oh, no, nope, never mind. So he wants a docile pitch a berry carpaccio hypnosis style. I'm pretty sure that's right. So let's press yes, call the order in, and depending on if you got the order exactly right or half right or a quarter right, they will actually give you a different amount of money. So I believe the most you can get is actually 2,000. So let's see, we got it completely right. Wow, that was quick. Thanks for bringing it up. I suppose this is a good time to wrap things up. So that is room service, and I believe we got that one perfect. So we're going to get 2,000 bucks for this, as well as a bunch of stylish points. So this is another easy way that you can actually get uh, money here in Lumio City. So let's go ahead and make the beds now. I'm going to go through all three of the mini games, and you can do this daily, I believe. If not every certain amount of hours, you can do this... Uh 
you can do these, I guess, sort of mini games, I guess you can call them. So for the Making Beds mini game, you have a time limit, but it should be really easy. The fastest way to go is, I guess, well, you can go either clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't really matter, but just go to the rooms in the order that I guess going in a circle is the fastest way. And all you have to do is walk up to each of the beds and uh, fix them up. And they'll give you a little flavor dialogue like, oh, the Pokemon here was a dancer, or there's paw prints on the bed, there's scales on the bed, which honestly seems really weird. I don't know what these people in Hotel Rishisime do with their beds having scales on them. I don't know. See, that one had something weird. I didn't even get to read it. But once you make all four of the beds, that will end the minigame. I'm not sure if they get harder later on. I'm guessing that they do as you keep going, but they'll still net you a really good amount of stylish points. I'm guessing later on, though, they give you more money for beating the minigames. But uh, if you do them perfectly on the first try, you'll get 2,000, which isn't too bad for basically spending 25 seconds of your life. So yeah, the last and final minigame, that's kind of redundant, is the Lost and Found, which basically... As we get here, we're going to get rung up and someone is going to say, Hey, I forgot something in my hotel room, so I need you to find it. And what you've got to do is find the item that she says. So it says, okay, we've got to find one cameo brooch somewhere in here. Brooch? Brook? I don't know how to say that, but... I mean, this one's actually one of the more annoying ones just because you have to look around every single tile in the room. It could be anywhere. It could be on the chest drawer thing. It could be on the bed even, I think. So let's just look around for this brooch. Um, basically, press A on each tile and make sure that before you uh, step on a tile, you press A on it because you can actually step on the item, I'm pretty sure. And you don't want to break the item because then you won't get any money. And you get more money depending on how fast you do this. Don't check the TV. Don't even bother. I actually don't know where this brooch might be. Ah, there it is. Wow. Somehow, uh, the items, I guess, spawn in very specific areas. So if you memorize where they all are, you can just check those areas, I'm guessing. Um, but sometimes they'll be on the floor, so I really don't know. And we still did it in a good amount of time, so we got 2,000 bucks. And there we go. That should have already boosted our stylish points all the way to the amount that we need for the, uh for the boutique, but uh, if you do want to keep boosting your stylish points, you can actually get different haircuts over at the styling center place. You can get more cuts for your fur fro, which I don't find that helpful. Honestly, it's fur fro. I don't use it that often. But uh, one final thing you can do is actually restaurants, which I'm standing right in front of a restaurant right here. This is unfortunately the three star restaurant. So you can't battle that one until after you've defeated the elite four and Pokemon League and stuff and the champion. Um, you can do the three star restaurant. Uh, but you can do the one star and two star restaurants, which I'm trying to find one right now And I don't know exactly where it is. There it is. So here's the two star restaurant Basically you have to pay but I'm gonna show it off just so I can give you a roundabout I guess of what's going on. So yes, I will dine we can go ahead and choose triple battle or rotation meal battle and I don't really want to do it because it takes a really long time, but this restaurant will probably be the better one to do. The one-star restaurant doesn't give you nearly enough money, so before you've beaten the champion, after you've beaten the champion, then go for either the, the three-star restaurant or actually a hidden, I guess, restaurant called the Sushi High Roller, which you have to pay an insane amount of money to get in, but you end up getting tons and tons of money in return for it, so... Let's actually go back to the Lumios Press here. The way I like to find it is just keep going, I guess, counterclockwise around the city. Um, wait, no, clockwise around the city. No, yep, counterclockwise, I'm dumb. Counterclockwise around the city until you find the Lysander Cafe and South Boulevard. I'm trying to find the place with the, with the boutique. I don't think it's this one, actually. It's one of the avenues. I'm not sure which one. Oh, sorry. But yeah, basically keep going back to the Lumios Press, and I believe it is Hibernal Avenue, if I'm not mistaken. It is the place, all VIP of Kalos, sure. Just take me there, I'll find it from there, but... Yeah, basically keep going counterclockwise around Lumios. Once you see Lysander Cafe, it should be the next street up. So you can actually keep doing loops around Lumios City by going uh, through the alleyways, which is something I figured out recently, is you don't have to go through any loading screens or anything if you just keep going around these back alley sort of things and all around the plazas, and you basically never have to go through loading screens while traversing Lumio City. So it's a really easy, convenient way of navigating around the city. And I mean, in due time, I guess you'll pretty much learn uh, how or how the city layout, or how the city is laid out. Um, but I want to show off one more thing about being stylish, is that this guy here actually sells the Mega Stones of the Kanto Starters. And you may notice that he's selling it for $300,000, Earlier in the playthrough, it was actually 500,000. And the more stylish you become in Lumios, the more discounts he will actually give you. They can even go down all the way to $10,000. So here is the boutique, actually. So let's head on inside and see if we're allowed now. How may I help you? Wow, you are so stylish. Please do come in. So there you go. You can see that it doesn't actually take that much stylishness to get here into the boutique. 
Uh, this first floor is actually only girl clothes, so they don't allow you to cross test in the game. They're just like, hey, these look expensive. You can't go into the ladies' changing room. What are you going to tell me? Excuse me, clothes for men are upstairs. Please go upstairs. You can't you can't buy girls clothes. What's wrong with you, bro? Are you crazy? Uh, so let's head upstairs and check out the, the boys' clothes. So let's try on some stuff, and I'll show you the... Very, very reasonable prices of this place. So you can see you can buy a fedora for only 80,000 Poké Dollars. But look at that, you're looking stylish in a fedora. So very well worth it in my opinion. You know, if you want to be looking stylish like the best of the best of the trainers, $100,000 will get you this super stylish shirt. And uh, $180,000 will get you these super stylish pants. And $80,000 will get you some loafers. Or some brown loafers, which actually look pretty cool. So, yeah, that is how you get your stylishness up in Lumios, and if you have tons and tons of money in this game, you can make yourself look like this guy. And also buy golden sunglasses, I guess. Man, this guy is designer. Look at him. He is very, very based right now. I wish I could afford this, man, but unfortunately I can't. As I mentioned, there's tons of ways to make money in Lumios, though. And the more stylish you are, the more money you also get from restaurants, I believe. Actually, don't quote me on that one, I'm not sure, but you can make money pretty easily from restaurants and battling in the Battle Chateau, which I haven't shown off yet, I may do a video on that. But that is basically how to become stylish in Lumios, so just keep on rinse and repeating, battle in the restaurants, uh, do the Lumios press, and those are the most um, stylish getting points, and we'll obviously work in the hotel, that one is also very helpful and you can get money for it too, so yeah, that is my guide on how to become stylish in Lumio, so go out there, work at the hotel, do everything else that was in this video, and in no time you'll become the pimp daddy of Lumio City, everyone will look up to you, and you'll basically run this town with your stylishness, so thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like, share it with anyone that you think might be needing some help on how to become stylish, I've been the style master munching orange, and I'll see you all next time. Time.